Welcome to a Drexel English Language Center presentation on academic reading skills and strategies. My name is Dawn Kane, and today we will discuss reading comprehension. Reading assignments can vary in their level of importance, and therefore they can vary in how much time they require. By the end of this module, you should be able to evaluate the level of comprehension that a reading will require and you should be able to use appropriate strategies for surface, mid-level, and deep understanding. As a reminder, you may find it easier to hear this presentation if you use headphones. In addition, find the video pause button and use it whenever you need more time to read the slides. Take a moment to read over the slide. In Module 1, we discussed setting reading goals based on what you would eventually need to do with the information. If you missed that module, you might want to return for a quick listen. Next, you can use your reading goals to decide at what level you must comprehend your text. For example, if you're just doing research and skimming through articles on a topic to develop more knowledge on the subject, you may only need a surface understanding or a surface comprehension. However, if you decide that the article or book is useful and you could use some of the important details, then the text will require at least a mid-level understanding. This may also be true of a reading that you know will be used for an in-class discussion. And finally, if you are facing an exam or you need to write a paper on the topic, you will need a deep level understanding in order to defend your ideas. So, are you ready to try it? We will read this slide three times. First, for a surface level understanding, then for mid-level, and finally for deep. Try to pay attention to the differences in the facts that you learn from each successive reading. So first, let's skim this text. Look for clues to the main idea only. This should take less than one minute. Ready? Go. Okay, what did you learn? After my first quick read, or when I just skimmed the text, I noticed 2010 earthquake. This made me look back and I noticed the words tense and Haiti. Then further along in the text I saw United Nations and safe returns. From these few words I knew that this would be about the terrible earthquake that hit Haiti a few years ago and how people are trying to return back to their old places. We're going to read it again, but a little more deeply for mid-level understanding. This time, take no more than two minutes. Ready? Go. What additional facts did you gain? On my second reading, I took a little more time. This time I saw the figure 800,000, referring to the number of people living in tents. I saw resettlement and new settlements. Further along, I saw the words criticized and critics. If I did not know these words, I would have to look them up because they are so similar. The author must be making a strong point here. Critics are people who voice disagreement with something, and criticized is the past tense verb. So at this point, I know that people are not happy with the Haitian government, but I still don't have a clear idea about that. Finally, we're going to read for deep level comprehension this time. Take all the time that you require. Ready? Go. How much additional time did you need? On my last reading, I slowed down and reread the text for several minutes. This time I noticed that people have been living in tents for too long and the government has not yet solved the problem. I also see that they are trying to resettle people or move them to new places, but this is creating unserviced pockets of poverty, so people are really suffering. Further along, I see that a UN agency advocated for safe return, which means that the people with the United Nations said that instead of new settlements, the Haitians should be allowed to go back to their old homes if they are safe. I hope this experiment worked for you and that you were able to experience the three different levels of comprehension. Now you should have an understanding of surface, mid-level, and deep comprehension. 
However, if you still need additional help, you can always schedule a language support tutoring appointment through Drexel's English Language Center at the link listed here. On our next module, we will discuss taking notes. Thank you, and goodbye for now.